I'm going to be talking about the key learnings which I have learned from my personal project. My personal project will be a huge boost in my knowledge of the subject of design because of me learning how to code a lot better. The sustainable development goal number four, quality education, was another driving force which helped me push through my personal project, which is a chess program which allows me to teach people how to play chess, which is a driving force throughout the project. The scientific and technical innovation global context was another learning for me through the personal project, which allowed me to gain in my technical knowledge. Overall, the personal project was a great learning experience with so many ups and downs. During my personal project journey, I applied the NYP based learning cycle of inquiry, action, and reflection. I chose to inquire more about the effects of climate change on the environment since it is something I am passionate about and wish to do more for. I then created poems and videos on the same to raise awareness and take action against climate change. After receiving feedback on my project, I could measure the impact that my product had on my audience and learned about its impact and what could be done to create more impact. I also reflected on my own work and realized the importance of our change in our lifestyles towards climate change and my strengths in creating that change. Communication as an ATL skill played an enormous role in my product development. My product goal was to publish an origami course on educational platforms such as Udemy. To make the course great, I had to develop and improve upon my persuasive communication skills. Hence, it became a part of my learning goal. When it came to the creation of my product, I utilized my improved persuasive communication skills which I developed in my learning goal to create the entire script of my course and stay confident throughout. Throughout my personal project, I utilized thinking skills to enhance my inquiry skills, look at information objectively, and analyze through state of judgment. This has helped me to become a lifelong learner by personalizing my learning and making it more meaningful. I utilized critical thinking to examine ideas from multiple perspectives and to break down larger components of ideas into smaller parts which were later on logically combined. In my product creation, I utilized critical thinking to reflect on my experience and passion for visual arts and collecting data from primary and reliable and credible secondary sources to plan out and brainstorm the features of my artistic community. The research skills I accumulated while on my personal project journey is the ability to search for, locate, extract, organize, evaluate and use or present information that is relevant related to my family history to create the copybook. It also enabled me to organize and prioritize information and identify credible sources of information. Considering primary and secondary data collection, I found primary data collection the most valuable and reliable source of information because I had to stay connected with my family members throughout the process. In conclusion, the personal project journey opened doors to information I didn't know existed and made me grateful for who I am. During my personal project journey, I improved my self-management skills to complete the host of tasks I was required to finish. With deadlines and exams looming, I had to understand how to manage time to effectively complete all my goals and targets. Moreover, I had to make time for myself, my family, and activities such as exercise that would allow me to de-stress, relax, and remain healthy. The maintenance of my physical and emotional well-being is essential for my health in the long run. This journey showed me the importance of self-management skills in helping me remain healthy and excel in all parts of my life in an organized manner. Throughout the course of my personal project, I primarily use collaboration skills under the category of social skills. Collaboration skills are essential because they allow you to understand and accept social cultural differences, consider differing views and be empathetic. This skill enables us to learn from and grow with one another. This especially came in handy when I collaborated with folk artisans of India to make an art book for teenagers. I was able to set my views aside and appreciate the artist's perspective and story. In terms of understanding the goals and limitations of my project, my collaboration skills enabled me to work more effectively with my supervisor. Because I needed to recognize and appreciate the stories of these folk artists, and see life through their eyes. This was one of the most critical skills I used in my project. The ability to set our differences aside and work together effectively 
is the most integral aspect of collaboration skills. Being new to IB, I was extremely excited for the personal project. I was able to develop aspects of various IB learner profiles throughout the course of this journey. During this process, I exercised inquisitiveness and curiosity as I explored not only the subject matter I had chosen, but showcased the desire to understand the entirety of the world of IB, exhibiting traits of the inquirer profile. During my research process, I had to connect with several people to gain evidence and data as well as for feedback. By doing this, I was able to develop the communicator trait. Throughout this process, I ensured that I remained balanced, managing the expectations and deadlines of the personal project while making sure that I remained in the prime mental and emotional state of mind through various methods, such as listening to music and cycling outdoors. I am forever grateful to my school for giving me this opportunity and platform where I could figure out what I am passionate about and dedicate time and effort to work towards my passion. My project supervisor has been of great help in guiding me throughout this journey to make sure I don't miss out on any deadlines and guided me in making a schedule such that the project went smoothly. My supervisor also gave me really useful feedback during the report writing. My community helped by keeping me motivated to work out every day and gave me really helpful feedback during my research on fitness and nutrition. Hello everybody, I'm going to be talking about the role of my family and experts in my personal project. The late discovery of my grandfather's colour blindness led to a lot of difficulties and problems for him later in life. This inspired me to design a game that will screen for colour blindness in young children so they won't have to go through the same problems people like my grandfather did. With this goal in mind, I took my parents' help in verifying what ideas would be good for my game, which I then incorporated into my Google Forms. I then shared this Google Forms with my younger cousins. Their feedback helped me ensure that my game was suitable for my target age group. My father, an AI expert, then helped me analyze the data that I got when I shared this form with the students in my school. The family network also helped me connect with medical practitioners and researchers. Their experience and expertise helped me gain an insight into the methods of testing in clinical settings for colorblindness. Thank you! The aim of my personal project was to make an impact for the intended audience, which was women of the urban demographic, by publishing an online course on Udemy a popular platform that reaches out to many people from all parts of the world. The purpose of this course was to explore concepts of financial literacy to bridge the gender finance gap in our society. To curate a product that caters to a certain audience, many of us reached out to at least 100 people, initially for their thoughts on the topic and to assess the understanding of our audience before developing our product through multiple surveys. Afterwards, when we established our products, we sent out multiple feedback forms based on our success criteria to understand how the product helped them, the impact it created, and what we could have done better. This whole process emphasizes the importance on choosing a project that definitely has an impact on yourself, but goes one step forward by creating an impact on your community, a step towards making a change. Throughout this personal project journey, we faced a lot of challenges. The unhealthy cycle of procrastination was one of my toughest adversities, as I'm sure it was for everyone else as well. Another very prominent challenge that I faced was an inner conflict within my moral compass. While researching, I learned how laws are made to aid the unsustainable lifestyles of those in power, and this made me value morality over legality. Meeting deadlines, balancing personal project work with other academics was also very challenging, but we managed to slither through the creeks and crevices, and we made it through. Some advice I'd like to give juniors is one, definitely try and stick to deadlines. There are going to be a lot of other things that you have going on while you have to submit your personal project. So if you can stick to deadlines, you know you'll be able to put up something of good quality. Um, the second tip would be to share. 
share your personal project idea, share your product, share your process journal with as many people as you can, with people of different age groups, with people of different professions. Just try and circulate it everywhere because that's going to encourage a lot of conversations around your project and you'll get a lot of good feedback to really work on. And my last tip would be to document. Document every small thing throughout the journey because at the end when you do have to write a report, you never know what you're going to need from where. So document everything as you go. And lastly, your personal project is of course about creating an impact, whether that is on yourself or on yourself and your society. So when you're at every step during your personal project journey, try and think about how you can maximize that impact.